they will give you always the best rate. They connect to Binance, HitBTC, LMAX, and Kraken. What I like about Swissport is that they have an amazing app. Pow wow, yo yippee, yo yippee, yay guys, it's pile number 14 and I am super excited to be with you guys today. Just to start, merci à tous les Français francophones que j'ai rencontrés la semaine dernière en Paris Blockchain Week Summit. It was really exciting to see all of you guys at our events, at our dinners, uh, in the crowd, with the whole entire community. I really thank to you guys, had that strength that always, you know, decouples in a, such a great way when I had those handshakes when everyone talks and talking about that big thanks as well to Nicola for uh, the super keychains uh, they're really lovely all of them <laughs> hopefully we'll get them on the Swiss workshop uh, without further ado as always guys we are going to dig dive into the love the community, talk about what's happening on the markets and then talking about how Swissborg is if flourishing on a daily basis with the pissan with the given a waiters and as well obviously with the product update as you guys want to see so let's start with the news of the week um few things going on uh first mover america's bitcoin exchange balance hits a 3.5 year low uh and 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 that is, has to do with a lot of different crypto exchanges, right? With the macro perspective right now, a lot of different business and Swissborg as well is not doing as great as it was doing in Q4, Q3 of last year. And, and that is usually what happens when people feel not comfortable investing, you know? That's when people start realizing, oh, but there's so many problems in the world. Should I start to get into crypto? Should I accumulate in crypto or not? And usually that's what people don't do and they miss their chances to get in new projects, to be reallocating more time and resources and funds into crypto, but not you guys. And I think so that's why I admire so much of you guys to be pulling off in these hard times, putting these big sweaters to enjoy winter and then hopefully, you know, spring will come very soon. Uh, Metamarks warns users of new Apple iCloud phishing scam. There's getting more and more and more things that are happening with uh, Metamask. And, and obviously, you should be aware to never provide your keys. Never accept any tokens that you don't know where the source is coming from. And make sure always to verify what you're doing. Uh, I think so. This is a big news as well that Terra UST has flipped BUSD to become the third la largest stable coin. Obviously, you know, this thanks to Swissborg as well. We're providing a very high yield there. Uh, UST is a risky asset because it's it's a non-pegged decentralized uh, stable coin based on US dollar. But nevertheless, it's a very fantastic project and I'm very happy to see that we did take the risk to bring this into the platform, to bring this in the ecosystem and obviously getting a very high yield out of this. Last but not least, Portugal, uh, muito obrigado to Portugal, uh, grants, uh, Portugal grants first crypto license to Bazen Bank. So congratulations to these guys. Uh, we are obviously talking to the Portuguese government and they've been actually helping us on many subjects for now. So looking forward how uh, Portugal will be a, a big crypto nation for Europe. So what's happening on the BTC price? Uh, there has been some, you know, lately some cool things that we went above that main resistance was 42k and that lower resist, the lower support, which is at 38,000. We're still actually pricing out uh, ETH, uh, BTC price action is pretty stable uh, recently as well, uh, as, as you could see. Doesn't seem like we're going to go any north or south for now. It's still in this wait in mode C, waiting for some news to happen on a macro perspective and as well as well some, you know, industry that could actually have some some help like an ETF coming out. Obviously, we've been waiting for a long time. This one more institution is coming in to playing, you know, Bitcoin as a, uh, you know, an inflation hedge to the US dollar. Uh, but for now, it is really most in capital are going flying to more secure investments that means flying out of crypto flying out of technology and going to more consumer uh type of stable uh essentially investments and as well obviously with the rates hiking uh so interest rates moving higher people are as well flowing into uh these different more safer plays 
With that being said, it's quite weird that uh, Bitcoin is not being seen as a, you know, the safe heaven as it always was pictured. Uh, but hopefully we'll get more people to get this vision right down the line and get more, uh, yeah, bigger investors to get into crypto. Want to spot out, you know, as well, uh, one of the, the very interesting uh, subjects that we have at Swissport and it's US Terra. As you know, uh, Terra is on the Anchor protocol. And the really interesting fact is that the TVL just has been skyrocketing. You could see here uh, from just a few months ago, right? That uh, it's just, I mean, a few days ago, sorry. It's yeah, just been growing, I mean, just crazy, right? This is this is how what you could see uh, uh, from just the beginning of the year, right, to to right now, which is you know close to 18 billion of total value locked into essentially all Encore through mainly US Terra. Um, however, right now you know we're getting a very high, 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 extremely high uh, you know interest rates for actually allocating UST uh, into these different protocols. So. What does that mean? Does that mean the 20% will always happen uh, or 19% and a half? Probably not at this at this at this way. As you see, the anchor reserve is obviously uh, going lower and lower. That means probably three months from now, we won't be able to have the sustain sustainable yield of 20%. So it might lower down or potentially a foundation could be essentially giving away as it has done in the past over half billion dollars uh to the foundation of terra and that has essentially paid out these very high yields so what we're seeing right now is really this battle of blockchains you know what are the ones going to be more used and for that essentially we are highly rewarded when we're depositing uh our crypto into these different uh great uh financial uh, decentral uh, DeFi products and that goes back to the question of the week is not sure how this will unfold. We said there's a probably three more months to have a very high yield to close to 20% to for our Genesis, 14% for our community and a little bit more for the generation. Uh, we cannot control this, right? Uh, it's only the foundation itself. If the accumulation of the reserves lowers down, they'll finally, they'll have to un unfortunately lower down their interest rates and their DeFi protocol. If if not, they'll have to essentially being paying us off and, and giving more, uh, you know, more funds to to the foundation, as I just explained earlier. Let's dig down into the love of the community. Obviously, the Pissant has brought so much love. It's a huge accomplishment, as Roger Sherino is saying, Tellement lourd, which bands and so many other people, Philip, Bo Boggy Burger, everyone. Merci beaucoup to uh, tout le monde. Really, this is a big statement. Getting the license in France before anyone else, it's just insane, right? Any other of the big guys, it just doesn't, it, it's just it shows that when you have a strong mission, when you commit to really put in place the right teams on the legal operational side, well, then regulars start working along you, aside you, and you become to get to be the right project where people bring that trust. And regulators, again, will be the weapon to bring to mass adoption. If we don't leverage the regulators, we will eventually go into a wall and and heard it right and i think so this is what why swissborg is such you know looking on the long-term perspective if you position yourself in a legal framework and still are able to innovate as we're doing this will enable us to be the succeeders of the of the next of this next phase and i'm very 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 excited really want to thank all of you guys for this this is going to bring a, a great way to bring more and more uh swiss borg to Fransborg in some ways and obviously doing this on on different european countries as we're doing uh currently and targeting other licenses in uh while we're working hard on it and by the way, the Pesan, right, just on a on a random uh, Twitter poll, 
There's over 1,400 people that participated in it, and actually 63% of people are French. So this means that we're going to be able to help you guys to grow the community uh, in France and uh, and doing this in a very legitimate way. So working with influencers, working with advertisement in general, and making real campaigns that matter to bring the best people into Swissborg app. Giveaway winners, uh, 25,000 YouTube subscribers on this channel. Uh, so super proud. Big up to everyone. Uh, so if you're not a subscriber, please do it right now. Comment and like and hit that notification bell, as you guys know. Um, this means as well a great giveaway. So 25 uh, times we're distributing 50 CHSB uh, and uh, it goes to all of this list here so I'm not going to enumerate everyone but thank you so much guys this is hard work uh, 25k I think so is a great number for Swissborg hopefully we we'll get to 50k by the end of the year that would be an amazing way to double up probably going to be very hard to reach it but hey you know if you set goals high in life usually it's really good because if you shoot for the moon it doesn't matter. If you miss your target, you land among the stars. I just wanted to salute as well in the team. We have a new career page, which is really, really, really cool. So if you guys, you know, want to lo lo learn more about what's happening at Swissborg, if you want to apply to any of these jobs, there's a lot of more and more jobs that are within our website. It's really well done. And for that, there is still a lot of people that we are hiring. Uh, there's a new growth hacker in DeFi. Uh, so if you're if you're good in data, if you're good in marketing, and more importantly, if you're good in crypto and love Swissborg, this is a job for you or a referring of your friends to earn up to $2,000 worth of CHSB tokens for this. Talking about lovely community members, Banda Dute, uh, our dear friend out of Lyon, which is doing a lot of cool crypto meetups. It happens very often. He has a great restaurant. He's been accepting Bitcoin as a payment, but I'm pretty sure in the near future, he's going to be accepting a lot of different crypto, especially with our peer-to-peer -peer, uh, way to be paying without any transaction fees. So uh, Banda Dute, mille merci for all the love you put on and to... Uh, the deal you put into uh, Twitter, that in Discord, and looking forward to have maybe a really cool meetup over there and following with a great dinner uh, in your place. Uh, so thank you so much for your love and please continue to be awesome. So guys, super excited here to have more and more ways to yield. I think so. Avax has been a great way to bring uh, uh, one of the best blockchain, right? Avalanche, you know, everyone has been talking about Solana. I think so. We've been talking about Avalanche for a long time. Our dear uh, CTO, Nicolas, has been really big, big, big fan of Avalanche. And now we're offering a very high yield to uh, essentially Avax, which is really, really great. Uh, you know, long story short, Avax is a competitor to Ethereum. Obviously, it's proof of stake. It's faster. It goes up to 4,500 transactions per second. Uh, it has very lower fees. So it might be one of the real competitors to, 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 to Ethereum. Uh, and, you know, obviously, we have as well brought in Sol, Solana, one of the great uh, blockchain as well that has been really growing and being pushed a lot. You have voted for Gala and Gala. Here we have it. Uh, Gala, as you guys know, it's somewhere a platform similar to you know um, Engine that has its own its own uh, you know side chain that enables people to build essentially uh, a lot of different games uh, that's that's on the Gala network. Um, the the great thing is that is 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 really you know, going for all the play and earn games and all the NFTs. So I think so this is a smart uh, smart choice that you guys brought into it. And I'm not saying what's going to happen this week, but we're going to have more yield on different other tokens to bring more love into the Swissborg ecosystem. And obviously you guys saw that now we have now 15 assets you could yield. Uh, that is really good. Uh, such as Curve and Link and two more. I just not have to tell you one, but one is a really project that we've been working a long time with it. Uh, and it's going to be a good way for you guys to get a very cool yield on this one. Swissborg Arp, the chart of the week. Uh, you're seeing that right now within just two months, uh, two weeks, sorry, we got 
over 62 million into the USD. Some of you guys have converted from USDC to USD or some from fiat to USD. Uh, and in general, has been quite a big, big, nice mix of things. Uh, we're seeing that most of the yield tokens that we have uh, at Swissborg are being yield uh, uh, besides Ethereum and BTC and CHSB, which is not as high as the other ones, but the other ones are really putting it as a yield, which is great. Um, the source of UST, uh, it was, as mentioned, was mainly uh, coming from exchange and only three million that has been deposited. Nevertheless, we're very excited to have uh, all of these great yields in it and more to come. Uh, which brings us to the yield wallet. So there's a little decline from uh, essentially USDC because you exchange, like I did some exchange from USDC to UST. Please take in consideration that these two work very well together. UST uh, being a decentralized, uh, a pegged stable coin and USD being like a completely pegged uh, one, but that is backed in dollars. So the risk is very different from one to the other. That's why USDC today offers you 8%, the other one offers you, you know, double that. So, um, Please make in consideration that the risk level is not the same and that's why the return is not the same. Uh, re regarding the other tokens, we're pretty much stable as we speak. Um, we have some small amount of users that are in Curve, that are in Chainlink and uh, that are in Avalanche, but this is really small for now. And uh, you see right now 65 million, which is great, into UST, which brings us close to 800 million in total into DeFi, which I think so is still a great number. In terms of Swissborg token, not too happy to be honest. Well, we got the 130,000 uh, and that's great. Uh, that's definitely really great to 130,000 uh, users. Hopefully we get to 200,000 uh, uh, by the end of the next quarter. Um, in terms of premium, uh, we only had 250, so we like to always target that 500. And uh, the rest in terms of staking has been pretty much stable. However, 10% drop in the Swissboard token, which is uh, not good. So we will have to work on this for next week. And almost $3.5 million worth of protect and burn. Uh, that will be uh, potentially triggered. I know you're always waiting for it, but it will be triggered in a market which is favored to help to grow the Swiss board token, which today is still a little bit, you know, this wait and see market is never very good. I'm very, very excited uh, to tell you guys that the community index has been updated. As you guys know, the DEO is going to be split into Xborg and to SUNY. Uh, for that mean, well, we don't have a DEO score anymore uh, for now. And the crypto challenge is about to end. And that's the reason why we had to bring new two new ways to score essentially uh, the community index. I think so it's a real great meritocratic way where you guys are taking our value where you're really valuing your inputs, obviously. So there's going to be two different ones. It's invitations. So depending on the referrals on the Swissborg app. So as each week, if you guys make more referrals that activate, that convert into users, so being uh, like not just sending an invite, but sending an invite and making sure that they deposit the 50 euros worth of crypto or fiat and getting into, uh, you know, essentially exchanging and hopefully yodeling by the by going forward and obviously getting into premium. Uh, these are new ways to score and bring the community index. So really growing our users, thanks to you guys. Um, Number two is based on the the CHSB holders, right? This is a great way, I think so, uh, to see that our ecosystem is growing. So our, today we're at 130,000. Hopefully next week we're at 131,000, 102,000, whatever that is. And to show that we're growing in terms of an ecosystem and we're growing in terms of token holders. So I think so this is really, really good. So more referrals, more CHSB holders, higher is the community index score. So the job is on you and obviously on us too. Which brings us to the community and deck to decks. What is going to be? It is not too great, guys. 6.8. Uh, I know you guys are focused on the eggs and on the bunny. Uh, maybe that was the reason. The vacations. But all in all, CHSB volume activity quite negative. App activity quite negative. Social media has done great. Thanks to you guys. And Crypto Challenge not doing very well. 
Uh, so 6.8, that's not a good score. We need to really strengthen this up for next week. Counting on all of you guys. Talking about great content, um, this week it's Avax versus Solana. So Avalanche Solana, what will be the best blockchain of those two? I know which one to favor, to be honest, uh, but I let you have a great time with Alex and the Kryptonite team to see what's the big difference. As you guys know, this is our platform. This is our time where we could communicate in the best way. So please comment here, ask me anything, and I'll make sure to answer it within the next powwows to come. Guys, just to finish this quarter, we had a really shy quarter, to be honest. Um, we have been doing uh, very less revenues than we have expected. Obviously, the macro tendency is not helping. The whole industry is not doing as well. There's been some surge of NFTs and things like that. But in general, the adoption is not growing as we expected. But that happens when essentially uh, shit hits the fan. What I know, though is that this last three months has positioned ourselves to really work hard and working on pulling out a great strategy for yodling, a great strategy for listing a big amount of tokens for the thematics, for, for bringing new uh, partnerships to grow in terms of uh, market share, to get more and more licenses, to legitimate our, our entire business and our community, and have a lot of events to talk to you guys, which was in MetaFest, which was in Paris Blockchain and other ones. So that is all a great recipe for a massive explosion. So I'm really hoping that this quarter is gonna be the one that we're gonna get back to where we are, you know, break that 50 uh, cents resistance on the Swissborg token and get to all time highs. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it last week, uh, the song <laughs> with, with Alex, what was it? Um, Au portable citoyen, échangeons nos euros. Yildon, yildon, all time, nous visons. <laughs> Guys, be wealthy, be healthy, love our CHSB. Through Swissborg, all assets will have a fiat gateway. And here is the thing. Premium features gives you zero fee trading. It's an amazing fiat gateway. 